look at that look at the routine hello guys and welcome down to improve my golf and welcome down to the incredible the beautiful what a day this is awesome, formby golf club and formby's got two golf courses it's got the championship course and it's also got the formby ladies course and today we're playing on the ladies golf course and this course is honestly absolutely awesome because I've, I've heard a lot of good reports yeah. i've never played the ladies the normal course here if you want to look at it like that is brilliant it's one of my favorites but i've not played this course before. i played the ladies a long long time ago so basically this first hole par four 261 yards we've then got a par five at 400 and then another par four at 280 so the cut the holes are short which really should lend itself to a lot of birdies. I, I think it's one of those places where it's just not going to be like that. I can't. It should be. But anyway. Up ahead on the green, we've got Rick Shields and Matt Fryer. They're doing a vlog as well. It's going to be over on Fryer's channel, so go and check out their match. But for the moment, it's myself versus Finchie and... I'm oh, sorry, sorry. You already got it going? Good man, good man. You're on the ball. We play Match play or stroke play? Uh, really stroke play. Let's do stroke play. Go That's to right, limit this first shot. <laughs> No, we do stroke play. So their boys are on the green, 260. We're out with three wood. We're going to scare them. Don't try this at home. That's a nice looking shot. Straight down the middle. There she is. Good shot. Right to the green, that right. And there's a. We should use Rick's camera because he's filming our tee shots. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon. Now, tried out this new Mizuno three wood I don't hit it very far I reckon if you catch a good one you will get up on the green why don't you hit it very far it's just not a very long three wood it's pretty straight but if I want like to get a 260 out of it I'd be struggling this this could certainly have the distance to reach come on whack it on oh yeah yeah go for it if you get there you'll be it'll be a really good shot if you get there I don't think they'll even be that bothered Yeah, it's fine. That's next to Fryer's eight iron off the tee. <laughs> <laughs> right, stroke play it is. Let's go. Fryer seems determined not to use his driver this morning. So Andy's just finished in the right hand semi. He's got that bunker to go over. Pin in this very small green. He's just back right. So we're going lobber. That's, that's almost a green in regulation that Carter. <laughs> yeah, so I think I think positioning off the tee is gonna be quite important here. I can't do first holes. I have a first hole block. <laughs> it is uh preferred lies as well. On the fairways I saw. Is it? Oh my god. Just clean some of the war off. I think he's dry enough not to have them, but that's what the sign said. If that's what the sign says, that's what you're entitled to do. I could um, feel I could feel the lad's eyes on me <laughs> as I was hitting that shot. You were really a bit twitchy on that one. I was getting a little bit nervous. See, they've gone for me, I'm alright. <laughs> Let's come back. Right, Finch is in the driver's seat. I just laughed at Fry making bogey on this hole as well. Did he make bogey, did he? Yeah. <laughs> and I also want to laugh that he missed the green in regulation, but so did I. Yeah, but you did it with much more style. <laughs> Well, neither of us were overly aggressive. No, I think it actually just popped up off the face. I'm actually surprised it's that big of a bounce, if I'm being honest with you. It's okay. Well, well let's, let's, let's make our pass. Hey, listen, it's the first hole. It's a warm up hole. It's a warm up. Everyone knows the first three holes don't really count on a stroke play match. At, at least the first three. You know. <laughs> we, we start scoring on the fifth. It only starts counting when we get that first birdie. <laughs> <laughs> Could be a while everything, to wait, folks. <laughs> everything before is void. Look at 
cheeky little pot bunker. Yeah, everything I've heard about this course has been positive. Oh yeah, it's in incredible condition. It's always going to be in good condition, isn't it? Well, already All this strikes me as the type of course I'd just love to be at. Like, I'll imagine this on like a summer's evening. Like as still as this, just running around. Oh, that's dramatic, this side. Oh, Andrew, just hold your finish <laughs> on your pot. Right, let, let me make the site slightly... Uh, that's the putter I'm using today. The cure. The cure. It's absolutely huge. But give it a go. So putter right. off the side, he's got to come up a slope. It seems to... It's almost like a little bit of a valley where the pins cut. On its way, rolling very nicely. What? Nice pot. I'll tell you something. Nice pot, man. It's probably one of the best pots of the whole year. Very, very, very good. <laughs> Stroke um, play, technically, we do have to hold it. Yeah. But that, I mean, that's stupidly close. So I'll give myself that. I think if it's inside a cure putter head length. <laughs> yeah, well, we've got six, we get six footers. <laughs> My sort of vlog. Right, so Finchy to go into the red figures with his. This is the type of course that really. Oh, I think I, I, I'm playing a TP5 number three as well. Like oh, yeah, me too. That could be fun. This strikes me as the type of course if you got a tour pro on it. Looking at like a 15 under. Yeah, I don't want to think of it like that because I'll just feel a bit demoralised knowing that a tour pro would just come here and already be one under. More, I'm already one behind him. <laughs> if you want one before you even start. <laughs> right. I think this is actually quite straight. Yeah, there's not much in it. Oof. A little I mean, bit of a... Your putter head's not that big. Are <laughs> you sure? It's close. I mean, it could, we could measure it. Are you sure, Andy, though? Are you sure? Positive. You fire away. You keep on going there, pal. It's such a weird noise with you at this as well. It's like a thunk. It's a full-on ping. Is that, is that driver conforming? <laughs> Ball speeds off the face are a bit high. <laughs> Well done. Never any doubt. No doubt whatsoever. Both players level par through one. Good vlog this. Good standard. <laughs> <laughs> okay, over to the second hole. 417 yard par five. Looks I, like this, doesn't it? I like this place. I 417 like. 417 yard par five. I mean, I like if, it a lot. If you're gonna have a par five. That's how far it should be. I mean, I'm pretty sure that's kind of standard par five length. Yep, I agree. See the boys there in the distance? They are now at 310 yards where that bunker is. Yeah, so the line's the bunker. Obviously we have to dial it back a bit being the monstrous hitter that I am. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, you will. Oh, you could just like maybe give an extra 5% and just carry it. Very true, very true. But it's easiest to dial back, isn't it? Easy, much easier. Drive it! <laughs> as hard as I can. <laughs> Oh wow! Wow! wow. Oh man! Oh my wow. god! I, would, I, I think the best, the best way of describing that. Oh wow! Best, best way of describing that is my uh, my my body <laughs> didn't, didn't react, react how, I, how I wanted it to. Oh my god! Oh, what the heck! That was quite. That was quite an incredible swing. I think. I think it's all right over there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, flip it, heck! Wow. Right. Let's get rid of that out of my mind. Eyes for the bunker. Straight down the. <laughs> Just slightly left, but. Should be okay, I think. Sit down a bit. Yep. 
Yeah, just in a little bit of semi, but she'll be fine. I think I'm going to hit. Happy to get it away. <laughs> I'm going to hit a provisional. Um, I think you possibly should. I'm going to hit a provisional on this one. Just I mean, okay. oh, what I will say, credit to your camera for following that ball all of the way. That was like. That was impressive, right. <laughs> that was incredible. Now, a second ball birdie will still get me a five. It will, actually. Yeah, that's so, true. That's true. That's what I'm going for. We'll probably make the same score. <laughs> you're, you're the degree in two. We'll both make a five. <laughs> hey. Right, come on. <laughs> right. Banish that from your mind. Oh. <laughs> it depends if it's carried it. On the positive, it is a hazard. I think I think with where yours landed, I think that should have carried it as long as the goal stops there. But again, not <laughs> ideal. <laughs> okay, so needless to say we didn't find Finch's first. We did try though. We, we, we didn't spend too long looking for it. No, we didn't. It was knee height where the heather was. There's his provisional, well now he's third. Yeah. So up and down for a par. The only thing is with this, with like heavy, you just never really know how it's going to come out. So I've got 165, I'm going to just, just must try and muscle an A sign out basically. Yeah, so basically it's so hard. The, board, the club face can turn through impact, all sorts can go on. And just even getting club on ball is difficult. Just straight over my bag towards the green. A few bunkers in the way as well. Strike, strike, strike. Oh, you've, hit, you've made good connection. Oh, chase, chase hard. It's chasing. Can't quite see it down. It's on the green. Is it on the green? Yeah. Good man. Put for par. Wow, I know, well, I know the secret for today. Just swing at it. <laughs> swing at it hard. That's the secret for every round of golf. So Andy has right. just avoided the thick heather. Can you get a club on it? Yeah. No, that's not too it's bad. one of those, an inch shorter it's fine, and an inch longer it's really screwed. I'll put it this way, you're still in a better position than me, mate. Yeah, I'll <laughs> deny that. 130, well just over 130 to go. The pin is, I won't say it's tight right, but there is a bunker looming to the right. That bunker... It looks like it's that bunker. This this big bunker's a long way short. I pitched after that and ran on quite a long way. I've got a similar tactic to you. I've got a gap wedge. Yeah, just try and really crush down on it. Land it short and then let it run up a bit. Again, aim it towards your ball. You're you're quite you look about ten or fifteen feet away. I would suggest it's close. Yeah, I I I've got a chance for a par which was unlikely after my uh, interesting start of the hole. Hopefully no interference at strike. That's another one. Is it going to run? Hit right and run. Oh, sit. oh wow! Wow! It's going to be a very long putt for eagle. So we'll probably make the same par. I did not expect it to uh, to get that far. Wow! The muscle man <laughs> <laughs> said no one ever. <laughs> ever. <laughs> So Carter's going to be coming down the green here. Um, it doesn't look like he's going to do a great deal, really. It doesn't look that much. It looks like a relatively, uh, relatively flat green. Downhill, if anything, but nothing major. Yeah, certainly not left or right. Doesn't seem like it's going to be breaking too much. Famous last words, but I'm going to try and give this a good go. You're going to try and give it a good go. I'm going to, I'm going to predict this is going to go. Six foot past, and then he's going to hold the one back for a clutch putt. I'll take it back. Safety first. Go on, tap it in for your boring, boring birdie. Yawn, yawn. Yawn, yawn. Wow, plodder. I do. Drive a gap wedge par five. Nice. <laughs> two put birdie. Normal. I've Normal. never known anyone have so many two put birdies, did you? <laughs> it's literally the only way I can make a birdie. Right, this is a big putt in this game. <laughs> I'm 
I'm two holes in. This is massive. This is actually will make or break it. Can't really see much in this one either. I'm, I'm actually loving this golf course. The greens are nice and flat so far. So far. Well, I first had a few slows in it. It was only because we were putting. Two, yeah, putting. that's that's true. We were putting. We positioned ourselves so perfectly. We left ourselves a straight putt. We're so good. <laughs> All right, par. Oh, unlucky. Yeah, it's quite. Unlucky. It's quite I think. Over that one. No, I think if you'd have hit it probably about a foot or so hard, it would have held its line. But I didn't. But you didn't. That so didn't though, did it? No, so and it didn't. So. A bogey on a 460 <laughs> yard. Par five. Par five. That's okay though. Finchy goes to one over par. Then I just drop into the red figures. The one under. Worrying. Worrying signs. <laughs> Third hole here for me ladies. And it is 124 yard par three. Lovely looking little hole this. What are you going to go with? I've got a gap wedge. Gappy? Yeah. Yeah, it's one, either. two, four is a nice yardage for this. Sometimes, if it goes one, two, four. Well, considering how far you pitched on the last hole, I'd say just a nice solid one for you would be perfect. Should be about right. Okay. Come on, hole in one time. Oh, imagine. Three cameras on it, hole in one. Could you imagine? Come on, dead aim. Not like that's right. Well, that's going to have a lot of spin on it if it wants to get hole in one. Go spin, move left. <laughs> and it didn't really do anything, did I? It didn't do anything you wanted it to. That was a bad shot. That was a bad shot? Yeah. Do I know what we to go full gappy or just my normal little go spin? No, I'm going to go my normal half. Yeah, you're, you're more of a, a half a half swinger. A half papa. Half papa. Not a full papa, I'm a half papa. Half papa. I've got to do everything at 100 miles an hour. Otherwise I lose feel. I lose that no feel I already have. Right, here we go. So this little punchy pitching wedge. This is just half a wedge, straight at the hole, one bouncing in, I think. One bouncing in. Uh oh. Hello! Online. That was looking it amazing, was looking man. exciting. We had four cameras on that. Pete Finch and uh, Finch, Hello. Rick and Fry were yeah, filming that. Well. Everyone, was, <laughs> Everyone was filming it. All right, God, move on. Think Poor of the pressure man. on your par threes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've got a little bit more slope on this green, but I think where you're coming from, it's straight down the slope. So again, we've positioned it perfectly. I think I might have a little bit more movement, but even looking at mine, it doesn't look like there's going to be a massive amount in it. We'll, we'll have to wait and see. However, two birdies attempts to close out part one of this match Carter to go to two under me to try and get back to level We've got to be going under around here come on feeling this I mean it really does not look like yours does a thing it is just straight it down the hill going, I think it's just going up the side of the slope so it should move a little bit well, to the left or to the right to the right to the right interesting <laughs> not the response I wanted to hear I wanted you to back me up you know what, I'm going to stick with it. Okay. In the background, I think that's the fifth goal of normal for me. Straight down. Break. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Cold it. That came off the left as well. Too hey, that was a good read. Too deep. Oh. <laughs> oh, we brought game. If only I'd have birded the first. Well, right. We'll break a little bit. Yeah, there's a bit on there. It's actually really sloping now that I look at it. But hey, they don't call me the reading green expert for no reason. You do. Another, another uh, nickname that's stuck really well throughout the years. <laughs> at no point has that name stuck. <laughs> right, Finchy to get himself back to level par. 
Well, as he finds himself three behind. Cool, Fitch. Oh, oh, that wow. was that was weird. That no was shape with about way. yeah, with a foot to go, it was shaping in, that and then it in turned the other way. way. Out that way. It was a decent read. It wasn't the perfect read. Take that away. Unlucky. Damn. Unlucky. It was a good putt though. Right. Nice. So that brings us to the end of part one here at the sensational Formby Ladies Golf Club. Massive thank you for them for hosting us today. Nice, nice black. Good flag, yeah. Massive thanks as well to Finchie for letting you win. For letting me, <laughs> for letting me win. Part of the so uh, far. stipulation of being on the channel. Well, the contracts get signed for a reason, Finch. Yeah, I know. Should have read the small print. <laughs> if you've come over from the last channel, please do subscribe to the channel. Lots of giveaways to come once we hit 18, 19, and 20,000 subscribers. Also, subscribe to Finchie and his YouTube channel and social media and etc. etc. And we'll see you in part two where it just keeps going. Just keeps going low. It just keeps, keeps going, going low. low.